Welcome to Maker Model College Online Tutorial. We hope at the end of this lesson, you will have acquired the expected learning outcome. Sit down and listen attentively as we introduce our subject teacher. Welcome back to another class of mathematics. I'm Maduba Abdullahi. And we are going to continue with the indicial equation. The first example that we are going to look at this minute is given as evaluate 1, 16 raised to the power of open bracket 3 minus x close bracket equals 1. The second one is given as 1 all over 9 raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to the power of minus x all over 3 times 8 1 raised to the power of x. The solution of the first question goes thus 16 raised to the power of open bracket 3 minus x close bracket equals 1. Note that from zero law, we said any non-zero value raised to the power of zero, the result is going to give us 1. And if you look at this equation, what we have here at the base is 16. And we are having 1 here as the page. So we are going to express this one in the value of this 16. And if you must express this one to the value of this 16, we must recall our zero law that says any non-zero value raised to the power of zero is going to give us one. So 16 raised to the power of zero now will give us one. Instead of us to keep on repeating this one in this equation, we are going to remove the one and put 16 raised to the power of zero there. Therefore, the equation will now be 16 raised to the power of three minus x equals 16 raised to the power of zero. And you agree with me that 16 here is equal to this 16. Therefore, this 16 will strike this 15. 16, sorry. And if this 16 strike this 16, the result is going to be 3 minus x equals 0. So we are going to collect the like terms from this last equation where we have 3 minus x equals 0. This x is an alphabet. 3 and 0, they are numbered. Therefore, we are going to group them at one side and move the x to the other side. So, if you move this x across this equal sign, we are going to have 0 plus x. This negative will change to positive. 0 plus x will give us x. And x will now be equals 3. Adding 0 to any non-zero value, the value will still remain unchanged. That is the solution of the first question. The solution of the second example goes us. The second example is given to be 1 over 9 raised to the power of x equals 3 raised to the power of minus x all over 3 times each 1 raised to the power of x. And you agree with me that the smallest value here is 3. The smallest value is 3. So we are going to express this h1 to the value of 3. And this 9 to the value of 3. So if you express this 9 
So the value of three, we are going to have three raised to the power of two. If you express this eight one to the value of three, we are going to have eight one equals three raised to the power of four. So we are going to remove this nine from here and replace it with three raised to the power of two. This expression at the left hand side here will now be one all over three raised to the power of two into the bracket of the initial power there, which is x equals three raised to the power of minus x, which is this one, all over three times, instead of this eight one, you are going to remove the eight one and put three raised to the power of four there. You have three raised to the power of four times x. So, if you open the bracket with this, using this two, you are going to have one all over three raised to the power of two x equals three raised to the power of minus x all over three times three, uh, three raised to the power of four x. And if you are going to transform this one, first you are going to apply multiplication law to this denominator where we have three times three raised to the power of four x we pick one out of the two this one is raised to the power of one so this equation can now be transformed to be one all over three raised to the power of two x equals three minus raised to the power of minus x all over 3 raised to the power of 1 plus 4x. Now, I told you that you must express everything to the value of 3. To the value of 3. The one that was here initially, when we have 1 all over 3 raised to the power of 2x, that one, we can now transform that to the value of 3 by replacing the one with 3 raised to the power of 0 because it has been stated that any non-zero value raised to the power of 0 will give us 1. Therefore, we are expressing the 1 to the value of 3. We now replace the 1 with 3 raised to the power of 0. And this expression here if you apply division law here, we are going to have 3 raised to the power of 0 minus 2x here. Equals 3 raised to the power of minus x minus open bracket 1 plus 4x close brackets. And you agree with me that the principle that we ju we've just applied here is division law. And if you look at this three here and this three here, they are going to strike each other because they are equal. So this three will strike this three. The power here, where we have zero minus two x, 0 minus 2x will give us minus 2x, which is equals minus x here, minus open brackets, 1 plus 4x, close brackets. We are going to open this bracket using this negative sign. And if you must open this bracket using this negative sign, is going to affect both this one and plus 4x. So we are going to have minus 2x equals minus x minus 1. This minus times plus here, it will change to minus. And we are going to have 4x here. And we are going to 
collect the lightning from here by moving this minus x and minus 4 across the equal sign to this minus 2x. And if we do that, we are going to have plus this negative x when it moves across the equal sign, it will change to positive. And when this negative 4 moves across this equal sign, it will change to positive. We are going to have the result from here to be minus 1, that is, collect the like term. It is abbreviated to be CLT. And we are going to have the result from here where we have minus 2x plus x plus 4x. Minus 2x plus x will give us minus x. And minus x plus 4x will give us 3x. So the result from there is going to be 3x equals minus 1. And we are looking for the value of x, not 3x. So we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3. If you divide both sides by the coefficient of x here, we are going to have x equals minus 1 over 3. Thank you for today. We shall meet in the next uh, lesson.